panel, a favorite of mine, Jonathan Hodig. Jonathan is uh, otherwise known as the Capitalist Pig, but he sticks with that name and it's worked for him. He's the president of the Capitalist Pig Asset Management. It's a, that's a mouthful, Jonathan. Well, I'm getting you used say to it. You say it so well, though. All right. Yeah. Let me ask, I, I ended with you expressing some, uh, this is just me, disappointment over this tax cut. I know I should be grateful, 1.35 trillion. How could you be disappointed? You're going to have more money to spend. You're going to have more money to... I don't think I it'll don't be that much on. more. I don't think it will be that much well, more. Well, the question ultimately is not necessarily what is a tax cut, but what does it do with the market, right? Because most, pony, most money, people's money is in the market, and most people are directly, in terms of their own consumer spending, influenced by what happens in the market. I mean, even now, after a huge haircut off the NASDAQ, you talk to a lot of people People, they still watch the market every single day. From a contrarian perspective, that's not necessarily a great buy signal. You know, I mean, you have to ask yourself, I think, has enough froth been taken out? Yes, you know, a lot of these stocks are down, let's talk about the NASDAQ specifically, 60, 70 percent from the highs, but they still trade at, in many cases, unsustainable long-term valuations. And a tax cut doesn't change yeah, no that equation. That, exactly. Just